Hello, hello guys, Game Boy EG here, back with another Train Sim uh, World 3 tutorial as we go and uh, do an introduction on the BR185.2. So let's go ahead and get that started. Um, that's a very nice uh, screenshot there. And uh, so I hope you guys like the tutorials. Um, you know, I preferably like to do them. In you this learn training the game. module, you will be taken through the operation of a BR-185.2 electric locomotive. During this brief introduction, you will cover the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Alright, let's get aboard. Let's go ahead and open this door here. Step up on the ladder. Take you know, I like to the shut the door. Position. This is where you'll be spending... Okay. For this introduction, you will be driving the locomotive a short distance and coupling right. it to a short freight train. All right. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. That's this, this controls the direction of travel and activates the cab. Okay, that's this dial here. And I'm still using my uh, joystick, my Xbox 360 set controller. Set the headlights rather. to let others around you know this train is operational. Set that to reduced, and there's a light back here that we have to uh, take care of. There are three types of brakes that are used on this locomotive the direct brake, train brake, Tra and electric brake. Direct, train, electric brake. Okay. The direct brake applies air brakes on just the locomotive and not the wagons. Okay. This is used usually within yards for shunting operations. That's what we're doing. Until you get more familiar with the locomotive, you can ignore this control. Okay. The train brake applies air brakes on the locomotive and the wagons together. All right, so that's both. Under most circumstances, you will slow the train using this control. And the, the electric, electric brake uses the traction motors to slow the train down without using the air brakes. You can use this to provide additional braking, such as when you need to manage your speed going down a steep gradient. Mm. The locomotive is now ready to go. Okay. Release the train brake and use the throttle to apply some power to get moving. All right, let's get moving. Go up to a throttle of 20. So we need to get to a 32 kilometers. And then we should be able to coast. All right, so this train seems to be rather fast. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. All right, so I want the train to get up to uh, 32 kilometers before I coast. So we're about 32 there. We could go ahead and coast. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force. Right, using that's the train just like brake. um like trains. This just train like trains is 20, part of the uh, 2022. Family, a modular so platform window. of diesel and electric locomotives that come in both passenger and freight variations. Interesting. More than 1,800 locomotives of this family have been sold throughout Europe and are now in use in 17 different countries. Hmm. I like how they give a little history on the, the uh, locomotives. The 2 part of the Trex 2 family, is known for the noticeable scale it plays when accelerating from 0 to 16 kilometers per hour. This locomotive can produce 5,600 kilowatts. That's 7,500 horsepower. Mm. and has a maximum operational speed of 140 kilometers per hour. Wow. This train will get you there and get you there in a hurry. All right, so we're going to stop at the location there. Sound that uh K 
camera angle. Let's change the camera angle there. <laughs> That's dope. Sound that horn. should be stopping excellent the freight wagons are behind you change direction with the reverser then change the junction indicated either okay. by walking over to it or using the map all right let's change to our reverse right. and let's walk over there Let's walk over to the uh, junction that we're supposed to change. Let's see what they are set at right now. So that one is correct. So we have this uh, second one that needs to be changed. Okay, let's walk over there. Why not? Stretch the legs out. It's not that far. Good. So we can apply some... Uh, Stuff from the uh, previous tutorial. All right, let's make sure that that is uh, correct. Nope, that's not correct. There we go. The junction is correctly aligned. Perfect. And you can now couple up to the freight. Come to a stop once your locomotive gently touches the wagons. Okay, sounds As easy you reverse, enough. You may find it helpful to use the external camera view. To help see behind you. I do like the uh, camera view setup. Uh, especially with using the uh, controller. It, it's, it's, I think it's more uh, fluent. The fluidity is much better than um, Trains 2022. I definitely have to say that. Alright. So let's release the brakes. Let's shut that off. And apply some power now. Okay, wait till we pick up a little bit of speed. And we can coast now. And how do you like that? Isn't that a beaut? That's beautiful. I just love the uh, control of the camera, I tell you. I'm going to slow the train down some. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Let's connect the formation using the external camera. Okay, that's where I'm at. Now couple the locomotive to the freight. Okay. So our brakes are released. And I'm going to use the external camera. We're going to go here. And let's apply a little throttle. Right, we don't need too much juice, just a little bit to uh, connect. Oh. Got to get a little closer, I guess. Okay. Let me get back in the cab view here. Okay, release the brakes again. And let's go back out here. All right, so I got to get a little closer. Just a little bit of juice. There we go. All 
Alright, and I think I can couple this way. Excellent. Okay, and return to the first person view. Nice work. Change Thank direction you. with a reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. It may take a couple of minutes for the brakes on the entire train to release. Okay, now we're gonna go forward. Switch line. Okay, stop at the uh, switch line head shunt. All right, supply a little throttle. And I'm, up, I'm applying a little bit more of the throttle just because we now have the uh, freight cars attached. Wait till we get a little over 20 kilometers. And now we'll just coast there. I think I can begin to apply some of the brakes. All right. I think we're good there. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Okay. Uncouple from the wagons on foot this time. All right. That's it for this training module. Awesome. All right. I think we did a great job. Like 12 minutes it took us to do this. And we stayed underneath the speed limit, which is good. All right. So I think we did a great job. All right, guys, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Game Boy EG sign out in another one. You guys take care. Be safe.